All right, we're going to talk a bit now about the general conversation part of your speaking exam, um, which you'll have to do um, on either both the foundation and the higher uh, exams. The main difference is what you're expected to say and how long you're expected to talk for. So on the foundation paper, you're going to have to speak between three and five minutes on two themes. Um, so you're looking about one and a half to two and a half minutes per theme. And on the higher paper, you're looking at five to seven minutes on two themes. So you'll be talking for about two and a half to three and a half minutes per theme. Now, one of them you'll get to nominate. So you'll be able to say the theme two, for example. I want that to be my nominated topic. And the other one um, will, be, will be random. So it'll be either theme one or theme three. Now, most... Um, of the questions are going to start with something like beschreib, which means describe. So you're going to ask to describe the topic. So let's take um, theme uh, two, for example, and I may start a question, beschreib deine Stadt. Now, this is quite an open question, and the reason that, that you're given an open question is so that you're able to develop it as much as you possibly can. Now, in your development, you need to be thinking about um, including lots of different things to show off your ability and your language skills. So on the foundation paper, we need to be looking at three tenses on there. So your past, present and future. <clears throat> on the higher, you need to be looking at about five tenses in there and more complex language. So you would include those three here. You may then include the... Um, conditional, you may include the pluperfect in there as well, the imperfect, as well as the perfect, um, and think about how you'd include those um, within your response. <clears throat> we need to be including lots of opinions here as well. So within your response, you need to be thinking about positives, and you need to th be thinking about negatives, and try and get a balance for each one. So if I'm saying to you, describe your town, you can tell me, <clears throat> about what your town is like now. In my town, there are lots of shops, um, and that is great because I love shopping. However, um, there is also lots of homelessness. There are lots of, there's lots of litter on the streets, um, and it is very dirty. So we're getting a positive and a negative in there. You could then bring in examples yourself from, yesterday, I did such and such in my town, or yesterday, I went swimming with my friends in town, and it was great, and so on. Um, we need to be getting a variety of opinion phrases in there, and opinion um, and adjectives. So that's something that um, you need to be building up and making sure that you know topic-specific adjectives as well as generic, more general ones as well. And... We need to make sure that we're prepared to give a question at some point, even if that's at the very end and you will be prompted in the exam if you haven't managed to give a question here. And just keep this very, very straightforward. So a nice um, nice way to remember that this is something like magst du plus a noun. So it may be magst du tennis, magst du sport, magst du deine familia. As long as you've got that marks to with your noun on, you're going to have asked a question and you don't need to make it any more complex than that. Final thing, just make sure within your, um, within your responses, like I say, opinions are very important. So on the higher level, we need to be thinking about using things like vile, lots of um, examples to show you've got different word order skills and understanding, da, jedoch, we can use the den on the foundation, of course, we can use den, but try if you can and you're feeling confident to show some examples of um, where you can show that you put in the verb to the end of the sentence. But the fact that you're giving opinions here is the main thing, it's the most important thing, and it's that you're not just saying I like something or I dislike something, but you're saying why that may be or why you might not like something as well. <clears throat>